Hello, everybody. Getting ready to do lesson 6.3, part 2 of your pre calculus math today. And today you have eight points here on your notebook entries and 52 points here for your classwork. 6.3, part 2 vectors in, a, in the plane. So, teachers, students, here's today's bell work as well. Uh, solve the equations. So students, you have these equations here. Solve these equations. Um, give your students five minutes, teachers. Okay, welcome back for the solutions for today's bell work. You have cosine x. Uh, multiplying the quantity cosine x plus one equals zero uh, for that one. So we're going to solve for cosine x equals 0. And in this situation here, cosine x, x equals uh, pi over 2 plus n pi. And then cosine x plus 1, when we solve for 0 here, we get cosine x equals negative 1. And then in this situation here, for cosine x to equal negative 1, our cosine of negative 1 would be pi. Uh, whew, <clears throat> pi plus 2n pi is what it would be for cosine x to equal negative 1 in that situation. And then down here, sine x multiplying by 2 sine x plus uh, radical 2 equals 0. So we're going to uh, separate our two factors out here. We have sine x equals 0 or x equals n pi or uh, whew, in this case, uh, 5 pi over 4 plus 2 n pi, and 7 pi over 4 plus 2 n pi. And then up here, 2 sine x uh, plus radical 2 equals 0. Solving for that alone, uh, for the zero product property, we end up with sine x equals the negative of radical 2 over 2. And then that equals these uh, solutions down here as well. So that is your bell work for the day. Moving on now into our first uh, slide of today's lesson. Vector addition and scalar multiplication share many of the properties of ordinary arithmetic. Properties of vector addition and scalar multiplication. So uh, vector addition and scalar multiplication share many of the properties of ordinary arithmetic, and we're going to see how that is. Uh, let u, v, and w be vectors, and let c and d be scalars. Then the following properties are true. Number one, u plus v equals v plus u. Number two, u plus v plus w equals u plus v plus w. Doesn't it look a lot like uh, ordinary uh, properties of arithmetic? It's like, yep. And then 3, u plus 0 equals u. And then number 4, u plus a negative u equals 0. Let c and d be scalars in this situation here. 5, c times quantity du equals cd. Uh, uh, the quantity of cd multiplied by u. And then the quantity c plus, du, c plus d that quantity times u would equal cu plus du. 7. c times the quantity u plus v equals cu plus cv. And then 8. 1 times u equals u. And 0 times u would equal 0. And then 9. We have this uh, cv inside, inside these uh, magnitude uh, symbols here equals the uh, c, the absolute value of c times the magnitude of v. Okay, unit vectors, more app, uh, definitions here. This is on your class worksheet, students, so this should be on your class worksheet, page 3. In many applications of vectors, it is useful to find a unit vector that has the same direction as a given non-zero vector v. To do, to do this, you can divide v by its length to obtain u would e equals a unit vector equals um, v divided by the magnitude of v 
would equal 1 over the magnitude of v times v. I mean, doesn't that make sense though? I mean, because you multiply v times 1 and you'd still end up with that expression there. Unit vector in direction of v. Okay, great. Note that u is a scalar multiple of v. So note that u is a scalar a multiple of v. The vector u has a magnitude of 1 magnitude of 1 in the same direction as v. The vector u is called a unit vector in the direction of v. So this is a unit vector here. Vector u is called a unit vector in the direction of v. Here's our direction here of v. Okay, moving on into our next example here. Example four, finding a unit vector, find a unit vector in the direction of v equals negative two, five, and verify that the result has a magnitude of one. So the unit vector in the direction of v is v over magnitude of v equals negative two, five, and then our magnitude up here of v would be the negative 2 squared radical negative 2 squared plus 5 squared and then that comes out to this here <clears throat> we go 1 over uh, radical 4 plus 25 multiplied by negative 2 5 and then this ends up of 1 over square root of 29 uh, multiplied by negative 2 5 so what do we do with that is the question. So we have negative 2 uh, over uh, radical 29, and then 5 over radical 29. That's where that goes. And then for this here, uh, <clears throat> to rationalize our denominators here, we go negative 2 times radical 29 over 29, and then 5 times radical 29 over uh, 29. This vector has a magnitude of 1 because the radical of uh, negative 2 multiplied by uh, radical 29 over 29 squared plus 5 multiplied by radical 29 over 29 squared equals 116, radical 116 over 841 plus 725 over 841 and what does that equal that equals 1 it's 841 over 841 so it's kind of like a proof of uh, magnitude of one vector let's try one now find a unit vector in the direction of the given vector verify that the result has a magnitude of 1 so for this one here our vector is negative 1 1 down here you have a vector of 3 negative 4 so to solve our 49 up here, our setup here is v equals negative 1, 1. And then our magnitude here of this vector is square root of 2. And then our unit vector is 1 over magnitude of v multiplied by v. And then when we plug in our values for that, we get uh, negative of 1 over square root of 2. And then 1 over square root of 2. And then when we rationalize our uh, denominators, we end up with this here of negative, uh, rather, yeah, the negative of radical 2 over 2 and radical 2 over 2. Down here, we have the same thing here. Here's a vector 3, negative 4. And then the magnitude of this vector would be 5. We plug that into our formula for finding magnitude. And then our unit vector would be 1 over 5, <clears throat> uh, citing this here, and then multiplying that by our vector, 3, negative 4, and we end up with 3 over 5 and negative 4 over 5 for number 50. Okay, moving right along into your notebook entry, page 7. The unit vectors 1, 0, and 0, 1 are called the standard unit, unit vectors and are denoted by i, equals 1, 0, and j equals 0, 1. So these are standard unit vectors here as shown. So this is what they would look like on a um, 
coordinate grid here on an axis on a horizontal and vertical axis here this is what they would look like note that the lowercase letter i is written in boldface to distinguish it from the imaginary number i remember that equals the radical negative one another notebook entry here these vectors can be used to represent any vector v and v1 v2 as follows v equals v1 v2 and which equals v1 of 1 0 plus uh, a vector of 2 of 0 1 and then v uh, v1 i plus v2 j so you have your i and j there scalars v1 and v2 are called the horizontal and vertical components of v so these are called your scalars here in this situation here because they're they're multiplying your uh, your vectors here v1 i and v2 j <clears throat> respectively the vertical sum v1 i plus v2 j is called a linear combination of the vectors i and j any vector in the plane can be written as a linear combination of the standard unit vectors i and j so any vector in the plane can be written as this linear combination here <clears throat> so that's important to know writing a linear combination of unit vectors let u be the vector with initial point 2 negative 5 and terminal terminal point negative 1 3 write u as a linear combination of the standard unit vectors i and j so begin by writing the component form of the vector u here's our vector u up here so component form will be negative 1 minus 2 and then 3 minus the negative 5 up here which will give us negative 3 8 there's our component form of uh, vector u and then we plug in now we have negative 3i plus 8j here is our component form of u <clears throat> so this result is shown graphically here here is our result here here is your direction here our origin is 2 negative 5 and it goes into the direction of negative 1 3 so let's try one uh, right uh, the initial and terminal points of a vector are given initial terminal write the vector as a linear a linear combination of the standard unit vectors i and j so to do that uh, we have v here to write our vector here <clears throat> we have 4 minus and negative 3 and then 5 minus of 1 this gives us 7 4 and then the component ties it as 7i plus 4j for this vector here this is component form as a linear combination of unit vectors i and j and then down here for 64 you do the same method here 3 minus 0 and the 6 minus and negative 2 this gives you 3 8 and then you have 3i plus 8j for that situation there on to our next example example 6 vector operations let u equal negative 3i plus 8j and v equals 2i minus j find 2u minus 3v so this you can solve this problem by converting u and v to component form this however is not necessary it's just as easy to perform the operations in unit vector form so 2u minus 3v 2u 2 times u minus 3 times v and then we just multiply through here we distribute our multiplication here through our uh, vectors and we end up with this here negative 6i plus 16j minus 6i plus 3j remember we can use uh, the same operations we do with with uh, real numbers and we end up with negative 12i plus 19j for that let's try one now find the component form of v and sketch the specified vector operations geometrically where u equals 2i minus j and v equals i plus 2j so we have v equals u plus 2w so here's our w here 
So to do that, we have V uh, equals U plus 2W. We just plug in here. Our U is 2I minus J, and then 2W will be 2 times I plus 2J. I plus 2J would be here. And then we put this all together here in horizontal form. And then we combine like terms, and we end up with 4I plus 3J. And then we go back into our vector form here for 3 for that one. And then our graph would be here. Here is a u plus u plus uh, 2w. You start. We're starting here at our origin, and then we're going like this here. We end up out here at 4, 3. And then these are our geometric representations of this addition here. And then down here, v equals negative u plus w. We do the same thing here, negative u plus w, and then we we plug in our negative of that plus w, combine like forms, we end up with negative 1 and 3, and then the graph of that would be out here, negative 1 and 3. And then this is our uh, geometric uh, uh, representation of this addition here. Okay, another notebook entry. In example six, you could have performed the operations in component form. For instance, by writing u equals negative 3i plus 8j would equal negative 3, 8, and v equals 2i minus j, which equals 2, negative 1. The difference of 2u and 3v is 2u minus 3v would be 2 times a negative 3, 8 minus 3 times uh, 2, negative 1, and then that hashes out to uh, negative 6, 16, minus 6, minus 3. And then we combine like terms here, and we get negative 6, negative 6, and then 16 minus a negative 3. That comes out to negative 12, 19. Compare this, re uh, this result with a solution for example 6. And that is your 6.3 part two uh email me here for solution powerpoints mostly for your homework but if you're behind uh for your classworks too and then uh other note-taking guides classwork uh classwork sheets etc this is my email and hopefully i do have my uh, uh my uh, google classroom up as well go to that thank you